but here's the thing about being married a very long time, you get to know each other so well, right? I mean, my husband knows me well. I know my husband so well at this point that we can have a full-blown argument from start to finish, and he's not even home. <laughs> you know? So, this year, I have been married 21 years. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I know it looks like I could have been a child bride, which, where I'm from, totally possible. Anyway, <laughs> I wasn't a child bride. Anyway, so, uh, 21 years. And here's what I've learned in 21 years, that to stay married and stay happy, because it's not naturally the same thing, to stay married and stay happy, what you must do is keep your focus on what is important. Keep your focus on what is important, let everything else fall away. See, I'll explain. The other day, my husband and I were having an argument, a face-to-face -face one, the one where he's actually at home. Um, so we're having an argument, and, uh, well, I mean, I say argument. The fact is, after 21 years, my husband and I don't really have arguments. We have throwdowns. <laughs> you know, throwdown, like MMA level. <laughs> Do you know what MMA is, sir? Yeah, marriage martial arts. Proper <laughs> MMA level. No matter what the topic, my husband and I both always bring it for everything. Because we know that after 21 years and three kids, nobody's fucking going anywhere. <laughs> right? We are just trying to get to the end of this somehow. <laughs> and also, you should know, like I told you, when I arrived here, I got a UK passport. My husband is Scandinavian. He didn't bother. And then we were having this argument, and he was like, I don't understand why you didn't do it this way. And I said, really, what I don't understand is why you don't fuck off back where you came from. <laughs> Apollo, I cannot lie to you, it felt pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, what a great phrase. I am totally on board with it now. Knock yourselves out. Such a good feeling it gives you afterwards, you know? Um, the problem was it bothered our children a little bit. <laughs> because we were having lunch, it was Sunday. Um, our youngest child, she said, oh no, mama said the F word. And I said, oh darling, you're right, I did. But you know what? When you grow up and meet the man of your dreams, so will you. <laughs> and then my teenage son, said something, but let me explain, ladies and gentlemen, between 45 to 85% of what this child says, I don't understand. Because he's a teenager. He just looked at me and said, why so salty, bro? <laughs> and then our middle child, apart from being somewhat fractured, she's also very woke. By which I mean, she doesn't understand the difference between racism and a joke about racism. So she got very upset and she said, you can't say that to dad, that's racist. And I said, racist? Look at my face. <laughs> I can't be racist. Everybody knows only white people are racist. <laughs> oh, she got angry. Ah, oh, she stomped out of the room. And I was like, oh, come on, darling. Sorry, it was a joke. I know, you're half white. Oops. Listen, I didn't say that to my husband because I'm racist. I said that to my husband because I'm married. <laughs> and anyone who's been married any length of time, five, seven, eight, nine minutes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what the most important thing is. It is to win. <laughs> yeah, if you want to stay married and stay happy, you must always be trying to win. And by the way, this is not a narrow, ego-based, selfish goal. Not at all. See, when you win, you feel better about yourself. Am I right? Yeah? You feel better about yourself, you feel better about the rest of the world. You are a nicer person, you are a better spouse. You do it for the health of the unit. <laughs> it is almost selfless, frankly. <laughs> Always trying to find a way to win for the sake of the unit. Let me tell you, there's so many techniques. I'll give you one more, which is when the correct occasion presents itself, very casually, make sure you lie to your spouse. <laughs> okay? But the key is the correct occasion. Don't lie about lightweight rubbish, like, uh -huh, I didn't eat the last hobnob. Nobody cares, it is a biscuit. 
but equally don't swing to the other extreme and lie about really important stuff. Like what? <gasps> of course, no, this is your daughter. <laughs> no. Lie on the correct occasions, the sweet spot. Stuff like, uh, okay. What? Oh, honey, I booked our holiday that week. I had absolutely no idea your mother was coming. <laughs> And the reason you lie like this is when you do this, you keep your spouse mildly destabilized at all times, <laughs> right? And then you have more power, more power, higher chance of winning, <laughs> which you do for the health of the unit. There you go.